Hey there. Okay, so I've had requests to show the pores that I do on my drawings. Oops, <laughs> I just painted the bottom of that. It got smeared. So I drew my horse. I'm going to do a horse painting. Um, I should say another horse painting. And um, the first thing I do is I like to do the background. Sometimes, it, you know, they're all different. On this one, I'm going to do the background, and this is not a pour. I'm just going to paint it. And I decided to do it gold because I want a silvery white horse. And I want like a silvery white with black in the mane going on. I don't know if you can see this. So I have a vision, you know. I don't know how it's going to come out when you're dealing with a pour. All my pours uh, that I swipe, I use these paper towels that I cut into thin strips so that I can do really thin uh, swipes. I have different sizes, and uh, this is photo paper that I cut. And again, I can do a controlled swipe. I also use, these are the things that I use. This is a piece of plastic. And I cut this so that I can lay it on the paint and then swipe. So all of these are my tools that I have ready. And of course my spray bottle, because that's what I spray the ends of my paper towels with. And this is my favorite effect of paper towels. Honestly, it really looks better. So I am going to paint the background and I don't want to bore you with that step this is not, again, mixed paint because I don't, uh, I'm not doing a pour on the background. Sometimes I do, but I'm not on this one. So that part is done. Oh, there goes my dog. Um, you know, I wanted to, sh uh, let me tilt this up a little bit. I wanted to show you that um, this is where I painted the horse and then I then poured the mane and the rest of it. So that is a pour, okay? But then I have done it this way as well, where I poured and did that. It is pretty unique, and um, I did pour in there. And this, these, these are swipes, okay? Controlled swipes. What I'm gonna do is a pour on the whole thing. I'm gonna pour and swipe here, and pour and swipe on the main. I don't wanna lose the, um, the head, which is in the body, and so, <clears throat> This is where contact paper comes in, the shelf liner paper. This happens to be transparent, but you could get any kind. I've got to let this dry because I didn't cut it out, the contact paper, before I did the background. Silly me. I want to speed up the drying of the background, so I'm just going to turn on my heat. This is a heat gun, and I'm just going to try to put some heat on the background. I'm done with that. All right, I do need to let this sit for a little bit, but I'll be back. Got my metallic silver. This is These are pre-mixed paints. White, I have Artist Loft silver. I have black and um, that's what I'm going to do the body. The body of the horse will be silver and white, all right? And then with the mane, I'm going to add some black in there. So I've got to do some cutting out to do. But first, let's let that dry. I'll be cutting out, and I'll be back. I'm back. You'll need transparent paper. 
I'm putting it over the horse because I need to trace my drawing around the horse's head. So now I take this contact paper and my um, what, <laughs> transparent paper. My mind just has little brain farts. And then you need tracing paper. So um, I'll be back because I need to make room on this table. Okay, I don't know if you can see this very well because I use transparent contact paper, but I actually covered the whole head, and when I peel that off, I'm going to do a pour inside. I just, uh, it's done in stages. And I covered the ear with contact paper, and I covered down here so the paint doesn't run off into the background. I don't know if you could see, but I just put a thing underneath the contact paper because it's in here and I, I won't be able to peel it off very well. So this will help me peel it off there. All right, so uh, I'm just going to pour the paint individually, the, indivi the colors individually here, and then I'll do the controlled swipe. So first I'm gonna do the body. I'm gonna do the mane and the hair uh, last. So let's just do this, oops, boy. Oh, that, that metallic had some runniness on the top. Better mix that. I don't want to shake it, but I'm trying to stir it. I heard shaking wasn't a good thing. I don't know if that's true. I'm trying to follow the lines that are in my drawing. All right, so now that's poured, and I'm just gonna take my handy dandy cutout paper towel, and I'm gonna spray it and start swiping. Here we go. Lay it on here, and I'm gonna control the line that I've got here. go let's take a look at see how I brushed the strokes of the swipe with in the direction that uh, I want it to be look at the cell activity thank you metallic paints that that's the me uh, the metallic silver that is doing that wonderful, creating the cell activity here. Um, so there you have stage one, 
or actually we should call that stage two because I did the background. All right, and um, let's wait for that to dry. Then I'm gonna, I'm only gonna wait an hour. Then I'm gonna peel this off and I'm gonna do this, the head, because I don't want this completely dry because I've gotta do some blending in there. It's gotta blend and so it can't be completely dry. So let's see what happens. I'll be back. Okay, I'm ready to uh, do the next step. Uh, I guess I can peel off some of the contact paper. See, I'm gonna have touch-ups to do there on the bottom here, uh, which isn't a difficult task. Um, let's see, I'm gonna leave the ear because I haven't done the mane. So I'm gonna peel off the head There we go. You know what, very little. It doesn't matter if it bled into the face because I'm pouring in there anyway. So that mattered nothing at all. But now I have to cover up the nose and the eye. So I'm going to cut that out and I'll be right back. All right, let's do the face. Uh, let's start with the metallic silver. This is still very wet, by the way. I'm going to swipe, lay that on lightly, and do my controlled swipe here. Tricky part is getting around here, so I can keep my outline of the horse, the head of the horse. Some of this pour earlier did not, let's see, it did not come through. So this is where I'm going to take this paint and blend it down into the other part of the pour. I'm going to do the main because I want to do the main so I can blend it in with the wet paint. I want it all blended in with while well, it's still wet. Okay, so let me bring you in for a close up. Okay, and that's um, sunlight.
coming in but see we've got the horse's head now um, and that's very delineated from the rest of the body you can definitely tell there's a horse's head there yeah all right and yes we do have nice cells I think it's quite beautiful let's continue I worked on getting the Sun out I put a whiteboard up this is where I'm going to use I think a different swiping tool and not use the metallic silver because actually for the main I don't want cells do I have gray pre-mixed oh gosh dark gray that'll work okay I'm gonna use dark gray I, I hope that I don't get cells be on this because I like a variety if I get cells so be it but I would prefer not to get the cells on the main so I'm gonna swipe it a little different and I'm gonna not use the metallic silver so let's see how that goes oops again seem to have gotten a dripping here need to shake that up stir that up test it there we go well the consistency of this is quite different um, I don't remember how I mix this because it's been sitting a while but it is thinner that could be good that could be bad Swipe it and see if I want to do something else to it. The ear is covered, so. And I'm going to go in wavy motions. I hope you can see the wavy motions that I'm doing here. to do the leg <laughs> oh heavens to Betsy there's the leg of the horse so hang on
so this is this is the leg that I almost forgot about. Look at the cells, <laughs> the vein of the leg, and um, you know the lighting here isn't great, but look at so the main did have some cells, and I don't use silicone unless it's on purpose. I don't mix it, you know, in pre-mixed paint unless I'm ready to pour and I want silicone. Um, but see how I just sort of blended the wet paint into the other part of the wet paint here. Uh, boy, there's some really interesting cells. I honestly don't know how that happened. I wish I could tell you. I try not to mess around too much, but I'm not thrilled with the main having all of the cells. So I'm gonna do some, some uh, just gonna pour a little white, and then I am gonna use a paintbrush. Do I wanna use this one? No, wait. Um, hmm. I'm gonna use this one. But if I ruin it, I'll just have to pour over it. I mean, I, I can't sweat this out, but um, I wanted a certain effect and I didn't get what I wanted. So I don't know if you can see what I just did. I hope so. I just put some squiggly lines in there. Now I'm going to take this brush. You can take any tool. Sometimes I use, um, where is it? I don't, not that one. Where's, where's my tools when I want it? Um, I take a tool like this or, or a paintbrush. But I, I'm going to use a paintbrush. I've decided. I'm stuck messing around, Cindy. And I'm just going to just swipe with my paintbrush and keep that white I hope that white stays on top I am breaking up some of the cell activity not all of it see I just added a line I just poured a line of the white paint and then I took the brush and just delineated it a little bit the last thing will be for me to peel off the contact paper on the eyes and the nose wherever that is <laughs> hidden and uh, paint that and we'll be done there he is the finished painting. I did the ear and the eye, the nostril, and I think I snuck in a leg while you weren't watching. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed watching this process in my video, I hope you'll subscribe. That would be great. Uh, this baby is uh, going up in my Etsy shop, and I think I'm going to call him Arabian Knight, K-N-I-G-H-T. Anyway, uh, there he is, and uh, hope to see you next time.